Oh my goodness, guys, what has happened? Have you actually seen this? This is coin market cap. We've got Bitcoin is down, Ethereum is down, Ripple's down. I mean, what isn't down today? Well, Tether's not down, but that's just basically US dollars anyway, right? I mean, every, everything's down, everything's in the, in the red. This is the sea of red <laughs> right now. Um, we got Neblio. Neblio's done okay, but then it wasn't really doing so well anyway. Um, yeah, everything's down. Oh my goodness, guys. Um, I think this is really the time to sell. You know, just sell all the crypto that you've got and get out of crypto because it's obviously crashing. And um, yeah, you know, if you bought on the high, if, if you bought maybe like last month as everything was going up, because that's a clear sign of a great time to buy, um, then this, this sea of red right now is a clear sign to panic sell and sell off everything, everything that you've got. Or this could actually be a good, great buying opportunity. Depends which way you look at it. I suppose most people at this stage get freaked out and, and want to sell and that's kind of understandable. But as an investor, this is really the buying opportunity. So, I mean, I didn't even think like about a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago that we were going to see these prices. When we saw Bitcoin go up to like $20 in about a week, I didn't think we was ever going to be able to get Bitcoin at a, like $11,000 again. I thought that was it. In fact, right now it's at 11,600. And, uh, you know, you see it down here on the chart. This is the Bitcoin chart. It went all the way up with it within a month. It went up, it blew right past $10,000, went all the way up to 20. And uh, now it's come all the way back down to uh, just above 10. Now, everyone expected Bitcoin to hit $10,000 by the end of the year. And it overshot massively, right? Beyond anybody's expectations and went all the way up to 20. It needed this correction for the market to come back down into like some sort of equilibrium. But what about everything else? How come everything else on coin market cap, all the other altcoins, they're all down too? How does that work? Does this mean that everybody has been selling everything overnight? The truth is, all of these coins are based on Bitcoin. Now, I don't mean technologically based on Bitcoin. They, a lot of them have their own uh, blockchains, but on the exchanges, they are all based in Bitcoin. So Zcash will be worth X amount in Bitcoin. Populous is worth so much of Bitcoin. Verge is worth so much in Bitcoin. Now on coin market cap, these prices are shown in US dollars. So if Verge is worth 0, 0.00 whatever in Bitcoin, that Bitcoin shown here in dollars is worth less because Bitcoin is worth less. So whenever Bitcoin goes down, everything appears to go down. But to be quite honest with you, the best way to get through these periods is just hodl. Hodl your way through. The market will come back. This is just something that the market needed to correct itself. And um, I really wouldn't worry too much. The best thing to do right now is buy, okay? Don't sell, don't panic sell. If you've got spare money um, in crypto that you, you want to put into something, now's the time. Now is the time to be picking up some bargains and um, buying some stuff up. I was up late last night buying myself a few coins and um, it's a great time to do it. So basically the money I made before in eToro, I've probably covered that before, I put it over to that uh, hit BTC website, there's a link below this video, and I basically was hunting around on there and picking up a few a few bits and pieces here and there. Um, it was good, it was good good fun. You know, some of these prices have gone down like crazy. So, all good. Anyway, the fact is you really shouldn't worry and here's why. Now, if we check out the Visa website, over here, yes, Visa this is, you can see transforming business to business payments for the digital age. Now that sounds a bit exciting. And what they're doing is secure interoperability and governance. Now that's a word, interoperability, and I'm not sure I'm saying that quite right, but I think that's a word you're gonna hear a lot, okay? And it's to do with um, 
being able to take payments in many, many different cryptocurrencies. You're going to see that a lot this year. And as you see on this very easy to understand chart, you basically, you've got a company here in Australia and the bank will send a business to business uh, to the bank in Japan and onto the company. So this process here that they're looking to build is going to be cryptocurrencies such as Ripple, XRP, and Bitcoin, and a bunch of others. This is part of the interoperability, okay, of uh, mixing together all these cryptos so that people can pay in any currency they like. With Visa, can you believe it? So, you might be looking at this crypto chart here and thinking, oh my goodness, crypto's dead, it's totally gone. Um, I've got to say, no, crypto's the way of the future, and we've now got Visa coming on board. The reason why I know this is um, I went to university, I got actually got a degree, a bachelor's degree in web development and here is a job for a blockchain engineer and this is from Visa, okay, this is Visa, I believe this is in California, in Foster City and what they're looking for is we're seeking a strong developer experience with Ethereum and blockchain architecture to be part of a team tasked with building distributed application. Our ideal candidate has built and released distributed applications, has worked with the Ripple, R3, Ethereum, and or Bitcoin blockchain, and has experience with solid data. Yeah, so as you can see, here we go. We've got Ripple, R3, Ethereum, blockchain technology, and this is by Visa, no less. And here they are, they're looking for blockchain developers to create this here blockchain system for Visa. So very exciting things happening here in 2018. And I really look forward, I've been making, putting together a great video on Bitcoin and where the future's heading for Bitcoin. So that's gonna definitely be worth checking out. It was supposed to be today, but with so much red on the screen, I just felt that I had to uh, say something at least. So there we go. I hope that um, maybe calmed your nerves or at least, um, made you feel a bit better about some of your crypto investments. And I shall see you again tomorrow.